Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to build this linear electric motor. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Let's see how the motor works. Here I have a solenoid. It is made with magnet wire size 30. It has around 1000 turns and a total resistance of around 25 ohms. Here I have a magnetic switch or read switch, but let's forget a moment about it. I'm, I'm going to connect the solenoid directly to the battery. You can see how the axis moves to the right and why the axis moves. Okay, remember that when we apply a current to a solenoid, it becomes an electromagnet. And I also have a couple of permanent magnets at the ends of the axis. The polarities of the magnets are the following. This magnet has an opposite polarity than that of the solenoid at this end. So when we energize the solenoid, this magnet is attracted to the solenoid. On the other hand, this other magnet has the same polarity that this side of the solenoid has. So when we apply a current, this magnet is repelled to the right. So we have attraction here, repulsion here, and the net effect is that we have a force that moves the axis to the right when we apply a current to the solenoid. Now let's see what is the purpose of the magnetic switch. The magnetic switch is open, but when it is close to a magnet, then the switch closes and permits the pass of current. Let's see, I'm going to connect the battery to the solenoid through the magnetic switch and you can see that the axis does not move. But if we bring the switch close to the magnet, then now the axis moves. Let's do it again. Switch far from the magnet, nothing happens. Bring the switch close to the magnet and then the current passes through the solenoid and the axis moves. Now I have the magnetic switch installed using this copper wire which permits to adjust the distance. And I connected the solenoid to my power supply instead of a battery. Now in this position the magnet is far from the read switch so the solenoid is not energized. But if I bring it closer then the solenoid is activated. Now, the only thing that we need to convert this into a motor is some kind of mechanism that brings the axis back to the left when the solenoid pushes to the right. Some kind of spring on the right side. Now we can use a spring on this side, but we can also use another magnet with the same polarity as this side. So they repel each other. And there you have it.
Ok, I installed the third magnet and now the motor is finished. Here you have the positive from the power supply that goes through the magnetic switch to one of the ends of the coil. The other end of the coil goes directly to negative. So I'm going now to turn on my power supply. And there you have it. The motor is working at 5 volts and of course if you increase the voltage it will run at a higher speed. 8 volts and now this is 12 volts. It is drawing around 120 milliamps. Okay, so there it is. The motor seems to work pretty well. I'm not sure what kind of applications it can have, but if you have an idea, please leave it in the comment section. What I do want to do in a forthcoming video is to install a coil here in order to induce a current and that the motor works as a generator. Thanks for your visit. Hope you like it and see you in the next video.